instantaneous acceleration is the change in velocity at some given instant in time. It's given by the following formula. So our acceleration given by lowercase a is equal to the ratio of our change in velocity to our change in time as we take the limit as our change in t, our change in time, approaches zero. In other words, as we keep choosing a change in t that gets smaller and smaller and smaller, our change in v also gets smaller and smaller. Now, as this gets smaller and this gets smaller, eventually the ratio of this will approach a numerical value. And this numerical value will be our instantaneous acceleration. Now, in calculus form, we can represent it in the following form. This is simply our derivative of our velocity function with respect to our time. So, our infinitely small change in velocity divided by our infinitely small change in time. So, recall that velocity is a rate. Velocity is the change in our displacement divided by change in time. Likewise, acceleration is also a rate. It's the change in velocity over change in time. So since velocity is a rate and acceleration is a rate, that means acceleration is the rate of a rate. Now, what exactly does that mean? So, let's recall what the formula of velocity or instantaneous velocity is. Instantaneous velocity is a rate of our displacement, change in displacement. So it's infinitely small change in displacement divided by infinitely small change in time. So our derivative of our displacement function is equal to our velocity. Now we just said acceleration is equal to our derivative of velocity with respect to time. So we simply take this v and replace it with this formula here. So we plug this into our v and we get the following. Now we combine this, these two, so we get the second derivative of our displacement function with respect to time is our acceleration. So once again, acceleration is the rate of a rate. It can be found by taking the second derivative of our displacement or position function. Another way to find acceleration is to take the first derivative of our velocity function. So now we have two ways of finding our acceleration or instantaneous acceleration. So let's look at these graphs here. So what exactly is our relationship between our average acceleration and instantaneous acceleration? So let's look at these two graphs. So our y-axis is velocity, our x-axis is time, and this blue function is simply our velocity function. So if we want to find a certain velocity uh, at some given time, we simply look at our time. Let's say we want to find our velocity at time naught. We go up to our function, and this corresponds to the velocity at our time naught. Now, let's suppose we have two points. We have time naught and time final. Let's suppose I want to find what my average acceleration was between this time interval. How can I find that? Well, recall that our average acceleration is equal to change in our velocity, divided by change in time, which is equal to v final minus v initial divided by t final minus t initial. So we know what our t final is and our t initial is, and we know what our v final is and v initial is. So I take these four values, I plug them in here, and that is exactly what my average acceleration is. And look what this line is. This line is simply the slope between these two points. So our average acceleration is the slope of the line between the two points. Now, what happens if I fix this point, if I fix my t naught, and I want to find what my instantaneous acceleration is at, say, this point? How can I find that? Well, one way to find that is to make this t final approach our t naught. As our t final approaches our t naught, our v final approaches our v naught. 
and eventually as this gets smaller and smaller and smaller as our t final approaches our t naught in other words as our change in time approaches zero we see that the line approaches the slope tangent to that point as shown here eventually this point in time will be our instantaneous velocity the slope tangent to this point t comma v the value of it the numerical value will present our instantaneous acceleration once again the acceleration of an object is the numerical value of the slope tangent to our point and this value is our instantaneous acceleration